All right, man, 25 gamers, who's the best defensive team in the NFL? Do you guys know? Do I know? I don't know. Let's debate. Let's figure it out. Let's get to the ratings, and let's find out. One of the biggest important aspects of defense, and I'm going to break it down into three categories. We're going to break it down by ratings, then we're going to break it down by teams. So the first category, uh, or actually we're going to have four categories. First category, defensive line. Second category, linebackers. Third category, secondary. And then the fourth category is going to be hit power because hit power is one of the most important attributes to have in Madden NFL 25 and we'll give them a fifth we'll give them a fifth category for speed so fifth category for speed we're going to compare the San Francisco 49ers the Chicago Bears the Dallas Cowboys the Cincinnati Bengals and the San Francisco 49ers I hope I didn't I think I got that right I hope I got that right uh, but that's who we're going to compare and we're going to talk about uh, a rating from one to ten in all these cat or one to five in all these categories, we're gonna rate them so that you guys can figure out who's the best defensive team pound for pound in Madden 25 is. So let's get into this. All right, guys, defensive line. Obviously, uh, the Niners don't have very good defensive tackles. Um, I mean, they just don't. They don't have that good of defensive tackles. So that's going to be a bummer for them. They do have some incredible defensive ends that we can put a defensive tackle. And with the proper depth chart setup, you can maybe account for this. But for this purpose of this video, I'm going to have to put their defensive line rating at probably, if you look, Cowboys, Bengals, Seahawks is better. Cowboys is better. Bengals is better. Um, Bears. I think we're going to have to put the San Francisco 49ers defensive line at number 5 out of the 5 teams in Madden 25. Alright, let's go to our number 4 defensive line in Madden NFL 25. And it is going to have to be the um, Chicago Bears. And, and here's the reason. Uh, yes, they have some speed. Yes, they, they do have some speed on that line. But they don't have that stud overall ability. And uh, yes, they have Julius Peppers, but they ha they really only have two guys, just like the Niners. So they're going to have to come in at a, a close number four to our number three defensive team in Man 25, or number three uh, defensive line in Man 25, and that's going to be the Seattle Seahawks. With the movement of Bruce Irvin to defensive end, it's going to really uh, negate some of the stuff we like to have out of the Seahawks. You see, they do have some good strength, but they don't have that second guy that like they had last year with Red Bryant. Um, or excuse me, with Alan Branch, they do have some depth, but they're just not. They're average. They're they're mediocre players. Cliff Averill. I mean, they, they have these guys, but they have Chris Clemens and the Bain, and those are the two big boys, uh, as I would as I would say. Then they have Averill and Bennett, who are the tweeners, and Bryant. Those are guys who are the tweeners. We don't really know a whole lot about them yet. I'm gonna pull the Seahawks in at number uh, three overall in Madden NFL 25 for defensive line play. All right, guys, and this really hurts me to say this, but the Dallas Cowboys are going to have to come in at our number two defensive line. Yes, they have Anthony Spencer. Yes, they have DeMarcus Ware. But the reality is J. Rob is injured. Not only because he's injured, they don't have their, their defensive tackles don't have that beef. They don't have that strength, that bull you over type of mentality. And that's something that our number one defensive line in Man 25 has. The Cincinnati Bengals defensive line. Both defensive tackles are 90 strength. They both are big. They are both heavy. They, they, you know, Geno Atkins is is, our, is probably the best defensive tackle in the game, minus JJ Watt. And then uh, the defensive ends are even better. If you look, 89 speed or 89 overall, 89 overall. I mean, you can't argue with that. They both have 84 speed. They're fast. They're big. They're strong. They're athletic. If you're looking for the best front four in Madden NFL 25, look no further than Cincinnati Bengals. All right, guys, and now we're going to get into the linebacker section. So linebacker section um, for Man 25 is, is, is really, like I said, you know, depending on how much you're going to run a 4-3 or a 4-3-4, or it's going to depend on how much you need this. But I like to break it down just to have an overall snapshot of what these teams are. So uh, out, of the out of all the linebacker uh, squads in Man 25, I think that the uh, number five team, uh, out of these guys, uh, the number five linebacking uh, linebacking trio, if you will, uh, is going to have to come in. It's going to have to be the uh, Seattle Seahawks. And uh, for that reason is because, again, they have Bobby Wagner, but Bruce Irvin, I mean, he's a 74 overall. I mean, eh. KJ right, eh. But, you know, the left, left outside linebacker is, is garbage. Yes, they're fast, but do they do anything outside of that? No, they don't. They can't block shed. They can't They can't get off blocks, in my opinion, at least with the ratings that they gave them in the game. I mean, here we're going to take a look at it uh, for you real quick. Block shedding. Uh, 
Yeah, see, 79, 69 block shed, 79 block shed, 75 block shed, just no block shed at all. And it, with the ability to run, with how easy it is to run the ball this year, guys, you need block shed in your defensive second. If you need to win in your linebackers, you need it in your defensive line. So uh, I'm going to have to put the Seattle Seahawks at number four overall in Madden for 25, uh, or number five overall in Madden 25 for linebackers. Okay, at the number four position, this was actually kind of close. Uh, it was between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Chicago Bears. They ended up going with the uh, Chicago Bears for one reason. Chicago Bears have better overall players, I would say, uh, but they don't have, again, they don't have block. They don't have a great block shed. You see 69, 70. Uh, the only one that has a good one is Briggs, but Briggs has no pass rushing abilities. So, I mean, you see they just don't. They're, they're tweeners. Chicago Bears linebackers, I like to call them tweeners. Like, they're good, but they're not good at the same time. You see 79 speed. You know, ideally it's an 83. Like you see here, you know, there's always something about these linebackers. Like, the first two have good speed, but they can't block shed. The second one has decent speed, but he can block shed, but he has no pass rushing moves. It's like, where do you, you know, they're just not the best. They're not the best. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying that they're not effective. They're not the best out of these top five teams. In order to have a great defense, in my opinion, you have to have a really good linebacking core. And that's something that our number three team somewhat has. You see we have Vontez uh, Berf Berfacet, or however you say his name. Uh, we have Ray Ray Maluga. We have Jerome Harrison. And you see, I mean, these guys are really effective. They got what I like to call uh, super brutal strength. Uh, literally, look at this hit power. 95 hit power for Harrison, 93 for Maluga, and 95 for Burfisset. I mean, these guys are crazy. They're going to blow you up in the backfield. If, if they get a free shot on a Robert Griffin, uh, he's probably going to be out for the game. So, I mean, you see, that's why we like to use, uh, you know, the Cincinnati Bengals. That's why they're the number three team. That's the, really the only reason uh, is for the hit power. I mean, they don't have the speed. They, they don't have the speed, but they do have coverage. They have some coverage, and they have awareness, and those are really important this year. So that's why I like to put Cincinnati at number three. Uh, number two, again, is going to be the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, and, man, I really wanted to put them at number one because I'm a Cowboys fan, but unfortunately the Niners are just roided. But let's take a look here. You see, yeah, Justin Durant, all the, all the Cowboys linebackers are fast. Uh, I like to put Ernie Sims over Durant in my lineup. But you see, Justin Durant's super fast. He can every, all these linebackers can catch and cover and run. Uh, they the, the one thing that Cowboys linebackers lack is that block shed, that extreme block shed. You see the low block shed, but they do have high pursuit, and pursuit is kind of like it, it helps them get in position. So, but you see a guy like uh, Sean Lee, and even you know Sean Lee has elite block shed, 86, so he can get the job done. And then we're gonna put him down on the linebacker. We would put on a line. And then we've got Bruce Carter, Ernie Sims right here uh, that we like to use in situations. And look at this, guys. They're all fast linebackers. They're always going to be able to move to the ball. I mean, there's literally 80, 88 speed, 85 speed, 83 speed, 85 speed. I mean, there's just a crazy amount of speed in these Dallas Cowboy linebackers. And this is why I think, it, me personally, this is why that really attracts me to Dallas as a team. But overall, guys, i got to give the number one linebacking spot to the 49ers. You can't argue... Uh, with the not only the overall ratings, but if you dive deeper into them, let's take a look at what they got. Not only do they have these really overall good overall players, but they have these Madden gems as well. Uh, we're going to hop into these middle linebackers, and uh, these two guys are the best duo in the game. Uh, 90 speed, 83 speed, 88 straight, 7. I mean, it's just, it's just like, it's scary how good these linebackers are. Look at that, 99 hit power, 90... Or 98 hit power, 91 hit power, 99 tackle. Look at the block shed. Oh, my gosh, guys. The, not only can they can block shed, they can run. I mean, it's over. Like, the the front, the, the three, if, if you're running a 4-3 defense, the Niners, oh, my gosh, man. You put Brooks in the middle, you're going to use for him. You're going to put Bauman and Bowman on the outside, and then you're going to drop uh, Alden Smith and Corey Lamarnu here to defensive end. That's what I like to do with them. And, I mean, look at that. Look at these block shed ratings, you know, minus the rookie. But, I mean, man, that is that is an elite linebacking core. Uh, and look at the speed. It, look at the speed. Oh, my gosh. Like, the only guy that's somewhat slow is Ahmad Brooks. But, again, he makes up for it with another super high hit power. Uh, and hit power is huge, guys. Hit power is the biggest, one of the biggest defensive attributes you can have this year because it's going to allow you to foss, cause a lot of fumbles. And, I mean, you see just, oh, my gosh, guys, Niners are number one. Niners are number one in terms of linebackers. They were number five in terms of defensive line. Now, where are they going to rank in terms of secondary? Well, the number, uh, and, and this is, uh, we're going to go five to one here, top five. So, uh, uh, for the number five overall secondary out of these out of these five, time, five teams in Madden 25, 
I'm gonna have to put Dallas Cowboys at the f at the fifth slot, and this really hurts me again. But they just don't have the depth. You see, I mean, they have a they have a really good top three, but then after that they tail off. They see there's no speed here. Neither of these guys have any elite speed. The safeties have no. The safeties don't have as good hit power as we would like. That's why we like, you know, that's why we like to really abuse those linebackers. We see no one has that good hit power except for one guy, uh, and that's Junior J.J. Wilcox and B.J. Barry Church. This team is great for a four-three, but I mean, if you take a look at this, the secondary is just not there. They don't have hit power. They don't. They can't cover at all. I mean, look at their coverage ratings. It's absolutely pathetic. Um, there's no speed. So I mean, you see, they're they're all kind of eh, eh. And then the only guy that really stands out is Mo Claiborne, and Orlando Skandrick, and Brandon Carr. Those are the only ones that I could really trust in the secondary. So, you know, the may, you you would get to maybe a nickel package with Dallas, but ideally you wouldn't have to go beyond a four-three. But you see, that's that's why Dallas is Dallas is number five in terms of cornerback uh, secondary strength. All right. What about number four? Uh, number four overall team for secondary. Um, that is that's a tough one because of the secondary of all the Bengals, the Niners, the Seahawks. You don't really know what to pick, but I think it's a no-brainer that the number four overall secondary is going to be the Chicago Bears. Uh, they have a phenomenal one-two combination in, in Tillman and Jennings, um, but again, you know this is top five level, and they don't have elite speed beyond him. I mean, 90 is the highest. 75 overall is not going to get the job done against those better teams like the Broncos or the Page. You know, not the not the Pages, but the Broncos, the Colts. Guys who have that super fast slot receiver and, uh, and you know shifty slot receiver that can get the job done, you're, they're going to struggle. The Bears are going to struggle playing nickel defenses. So you see, again, not, not a whole lot of depth here. The Bears do have some men, Jims and uh, Chris Conte and Andrew Walters, but there, or Anthony Walters, but there's just not enough depth. I mean, they're really good for a 4-3, but as far as anything beyond that, their secondary is toast. Uh, and that's you know that's that's where we're at. Number three secondary in men 25 is going to be the 49ers, the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, they moved up from last year. Last year I think uh, they really did upgrade their secondary this year with the addition of Namdi and uh, Eric Wright. And you know this is going to be a phenomenal uh, you know five guys they can put in quarters. Uh, they got corners for days this year. They got speed. They got everything you can like here. They also have a hit power rating. Uh, the Niners corners can hit hard. Harder than the Dallas safeties. Uh, we take a look at the hit power. You see, that's moderate for hit power for corners. But now let's go to the safeties. You know, look at this free uh, free safety Eric Reed with 93 hit power. Not only does he have 93 hit power, he also has like 88 speed. 88 speed. 88 speed, 90 acceleration. You got CJ Spielman on your bench with the space with the same ratings, just a little bit underneath. I mean, they got they're fast, they're strong, they can hit, they can run. The Niners secondary, combined with that front four, is, is or those, those four linebackers is really difficult to argue with them not being the best defensive team in Madden 25. Uh, but, you know, you see that's, I mean, that's what we got there. And then the, the, this was the tough decision. That was 1-2. Was it the Bengals or was it the Seahawks? And, um, you know, Ryan Ducks is going to hate me for this, but I'm going to go, I'm going to put the Seahawks at number two. Um, the Seahawks has a, a, a nasty 1-2 combination with their corners. With Sherman and Browner, but they brought Winfield in, and then like next thing you know, he's gone. And also, I mean, it's just, eh, it's just, eh. Like none of these guys are super impressive. Let me let me get out of this depth chart. I might be in the wrong depth chart. Cause I thought they, I don't know, I don't remember them getting rid of Will uh, Winfield. Cause that's I was I was curious why the heck he wasn't on here. Let me see if he's on here. Cause if they got rid of him, that was the dumbest move. Cause that kind of had him. That was what kind of kept him at number two. For the rating, I should have checked this before they did the video, but it's all right. Uh, and we're going to talk about why the Bengals are the number one uh, secondary in a minute. All right, so let's go to the Seahawks and corners. Oh, he is gone. Oh my gosh, they did get rid of him. Holy cow! Oh my gosh, they got. I'm going to put the. Well, no, I'm not. Uh, the the the. The CX corners are just too good. Their they're top two are just too good overall. They're freaking, they're big, they're fast, they can hit, they can run, they can catch. You name it, the CX corners can do it. One, two, three, uh, or one, two, and then they're two safeties. After that, though, you see they tail off. They're not as good. They're not as effective. They have one or two more guys outside of that that can do anything. 
they can't, uh, they're not faster, they're not super fast, they're not, they don't have great hit power, uh, you know, they have, maybe, they got some man coverage here, these two guys right here, but just not a whole lot that you could work with, not a whole lot that really stands out to me, uh, but this is why I think that the Cincinnati Bengals deserve the number one, uh, secondary in Mad 25, is, uh, for what I'm about to show you right here, uh, the, the Seattle C or Seattle Seahawks defense of corners are really good, the, their one, two corners are really good, the freaking Cincinnati Bengals corners are not only really good 1-2, they're really good 1-5. through five. Uh, Let's take a look at the Cincinnati Bengals corners here. Um, so what they bring to the table is they've got Leon Hall, who's an elite shutdown corner. they got Terrence Newman, who's 96 speed, one of the best corners in Madden terms because he's so fast he can get on those fast receivers, cover them. They've got Adam Jones, who's 92 speed, and he can all these corners can cover in man. Uh, and then look, take a look at this Madden gym they got for blitzes. If we want to blitz at a dime, Ontario McCaleb, 97 speed. You no, know, not great acceleration, but good enough to get by with that 97 speed. Elite ratings there. Another thing you can have with the Cincinnati Bengals is imagine, uh, imagine a dime personnel with this team. Uh, take a look at this man coverage: 87, 89, 91. You know, Kr Patrick has 92 zone. 84, 84 man for Brandon Gee. Get out of here, guys. There's no better secondary in Madden 25 than Cincinnati Bengals. So that's hands down. Uh, you know, they may not be the best one, two, but th across the board. And then now we're going to go to the free safety. We're going to show you what even better, even better. Uh, look at this hit power, guys. Look at the hit power of the, of the uh, Cincinnati Bengals here. If I can pull it up. We got a dude with 84, uh, your boy Jeremy Miles. Uh, you got Nelson with 76, and they got elite speed ratings, too. Not only are they fast. Or not only are they good in, in hit power, 92, 87 speed. Where do you see that? Like, look at look at that. Taylor Mays, 94 speed. Sean Williams, 91 speed. Like, what in the world is going on here with this team? How do they? They're basically like the Oakland Raiders of Madden. Like, look at this. 84, 86, 85 hit power for days on this team. And I think they even have a dude on their sec. Or Kirkpatrick has like 73. Guys, there's no better secondary in the game overall than the Cincinnati Bengals. Period. Um, all right, so that leads me to my last topic, and we're gonna actually get, we're gonna actually talk a little bit about it in our t next top five video. So stay tuned to figure out how we actually combine these ratings and figure out who the top, not only the top first defensive team is, but also the top five defensive teams in Madden 25 is. So if you're on the lookout for, be on the lookout for that video coming soon, guys. And if you have, uh, you know, this is a great controversy. You know, am I right? Am I wrong? What do you think? Uh, would you guys? How would you do it different? What's your top five? Let me know. This is uh, this video is inspired by, uh, to to create discussion, and it's supposed to jumpstart your minds and, and get you guys thinking about Madden 25 and what teams you guys like to use. So thanks for watching today. If you guys want to see more tips and strategies on how you how to actually play Madden 25, be sure to go over to my YouTube channel, uh, youtubecom slash cnballard0531, and you're going to see that my YouTube channel is right there, and you're going to be able to check out some of my older videos to be able to learn how I like to play the game, and how maybe you can get a little better uh, based off of my either successes or mistakes, uh, so go check that out, guys, it's really a lot of people have, you know, come to me and said they've really gotten a lot better since I've started doing YouTube, so thanks for watching, guys, uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the YouTube channel, and also, if you're a new subscriber, you don't know what's all going on, be sure to check out some of the earlier videos in my YouTube career. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.